Hey guys, it's Danny Sun here. I just wanted to do a quick little bit of uh, my brother John's uh, new amp that he bought several weeks ago. Shh, don't tell him I'm using his amp. His, the amp that he bought is a Randall RX120D. Just It's pretty much just a two-channel amp. Uh, it also has some uh, digital effects, see if I can get those in there. It's got several types of uh, reverb levels, flange, tremolo, chorus, some delay, combinations of delay and reverb. And now one of the things that I don't really like about this amp is the effects. It's not that they're, you know, subtle or they just play suck or anything. It's just that when you're turning the effects knob to select it, sometimes it doesn't line up with the number, so you're kind of guessing what effect is on, and you have to turn the uh, effect level up really high to figure out, you know, what the hell's going on. That's just one of my little pet peeves. The effects are okay, but they're not as good as, say, uh, John's old Lydon 6 amps effects. Today, we'll be uh, going through two guitars with this amp, my uh, trusty Silvertone Special. The strings are kind of weird. They're uh, mostly the uh, the flat wounds, Diodario Chromes. I got them a while back just because I wanted that smooth kind of feel. And they're pretty good, but the big problem is you can't bend them at all. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty tight. I did bust the uh, the low E string, so I had to go in, and they didn't have any flat wound replacements, so I just had to get a Kirby ball round wound. Oh, and it's tuned in standard. So, without further ado, so we got a fairly standard clean tone. We got some chorus on. Let's, without the chorus, it's... settings for this guitar is in the middle position. I tend to favor that position the most. Here's just the bridge. And the neck. I actually don't really like the neck position in this guitar. It sounds too muddy. And we'll put on some effects. I think right now I have it on uh, chorus. I believe. Like I said, it's it's hard to tell with this. Yeah, it's a very slight chorus. I don't know if you can hear that. We'll turn up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> that last one wasn't very good. It's an okay clean. Nothing really to write home about. It pretty much just gets the job done. Without further ado, let's move on to the distortion. It doesn't have quite the uh, kind of distortion that I like. It has more of uh, an overdrive kind of setting, which is fitting because it says overdrive. I was expecting more of like a distortion, kind of heavy metal setting. But, you know, whatever. The gain's pretty high, you can kind of hear the buzz. Might get some feedback. Or not. That's cool. We will with the, uh, the other guitar, though. But yeah. Let's do this little uh, riff that I came up with a couple weeks ago. I don't really feel comfortable doing leads just because I think I suck at leads. But we'll pull off a little something. a lot of the harmonics, even when I switch over the bridge. Didn't catch any of that, which is something I really don't like about this amp. I mean, it's got a nice 
you know, overdriven kind of rock sound, but it doesn't catch all those harmonics. I think that's pretty much it. And as far as, you know, this guitar goes, so let's uh, go ahead and switch guitars here. And yes, I do have a strap for this one. See? Nice and real. You guys might be familiar with this one. It's the Epiphone SG Junior. And the P90. Bitches. And it is still tuned half a step down. Yeah, another thing that I don't really like about this amp, and I guess it's because, you know, John's been babied and I've kind of been babied by his Line 6, is that it doesn't have a built-in tuner. But fortunately for me, I got a little cord tuner that I've had ever since I re-picked up the guitar back when I was 19. I've only had to change the battery like once, so <laughs> go cord. Like before, we're going to start with the clean and move on to the dirty. So, here's clean. So, it also does pretty good with the, the overdrive channel, too. It's this, I mean, it can be a metal guitar, but it's not really meant for metal. It's meant for either clean or maybe kind of like a dirty rock, either like an ACDC or like a pop punk garage band kind of. Dealio. Yeah, we'll slap some effects on here. Get the chorus going. Oh, and I forgot to do the other effects, too. Uh, let's just uh, stick with the basics. We got chorus. Move on to a flangey sound. something. Oh, there we go. We got a delay. Okay, we well, has a delay. That chorus. Yeah, like I said, the effects are really nothing to write home about. sounds too like I like a nice kind of chorus like you know my pedal even the pedal is a uh, Behringer ultra chorus and I've heard a lot of things on YouTube about people really don't really not liking that pedal and there's even one where they're burning it, which I thought was kind of funny but for me I just wanted a kind of you know a more subtle chorus not quite like a washy like oh my god this guitarist is drowning kind of chorus I wanted more like a I was going for like a Kind of a heavy metal clean guitar sound. Not the acoustic, but, you know, the clean guitar sound. And uh, that's what I got with it. And that's, I pretty much use that whether I'm playing clean or lead. It, the thing I like about it when I'm playing in a dirty setting for the chorus is that it doesn't, you know, really warp the guitar sound. It, and if anything, it, you know, makes it sound bigger and it has more sustain and lots of other cool stuff. But enough about that. Now, onto the drive. You can really hear, hear the buzz now, can't you? feedback. Okay. guitar really works best with this amp and the other guitar not so much. But yeah, um Pretty much it for the Randall. For 500 bucks for an entry level half stack, I think he did good. If he wants to really get something with a lot more tonal variety, you know, I would go for something a little different. Well, that's it for the Randall. And uh, give you another shot of it before I go. Yeah, don't mind the crap that's up there. Let's see if I can. Yeah. It's a pretty nice half stack, heavy as fuck though. But I think that's how all half stacks are. Oh yeah. This is the Andy Song, signing out. You guys have a great effing day. Bye now.